everyone, welcome to One News. A photo was viral because there is a suspected UFO sighting. The photo was taken by two students of Lamu Madurak University. They were initially unaware of the sighting before they saw the photo. Further information will be provided by Ali Alviva. Alright, I'm Ali Alviva currently at the Kamboja Park in Banjarmasin. Reporting a very interesting incident about two students of Lambu Mangkurat University who claim to have seen a flying saucer type aircraft hovering around this park. This claim is reinforced by Shifa's photo with the park as the background. It has become a viral topic on internet. From the smartphone photo, it can be seen that above on the right side of Shifa, a flying saucer is flying in the sky. Believe it or not, they suspect that the object is an unidentified flying object or as we know it as UFO. The question is, what possible visitations has the U.S. government been keeping from the public? So we're going to see more of those sorts of videos, I think. Secondly, I think we'll see more documents. Or more recently, renamed by U.S. official as UAP, or an identified aerial phenomenon, is any perceived aerial phenomenon that cannot be immediately identified or explained. So in other words, UAVO is divine as any apparent object in the sky that can be identified and classified as an object or phenomenon that already known. However, so far the name is generally understood and used to refer to a plane of beings from other space or other world. These beings we known as alien. Today, the vast majority of observed UAVOs are lighter, identified as conventional objects or phenomena such as aircraft, meteorological balloons, clouds, and etc. However, some of them cannot be identified due to the lack of evidence or due to the lack of a conventional explanation, despite extensive evidence. So, is the object that captured by the students finally a real footage of UFO that we search all this time, or is just another conventional object that unintentionally captured in a photo? To get to know more about this story, we have an interview with the owner of the viral photo. Alright, now I'm with Shifa, the owner of the photo. Hi Shifa, may I interview you a little bit? Yes, of course. Alright then, what did you do that day and what made you want to take a photo at that time? On that day, I was enjoying my weekend at Cambodia Park because my outfit looks good on that day, so I asked my friend to take some photos of me. Alright, then when did you realize that in your photo there is a UFO sighting? How did you react? When I got home, I checked the photos and I was surprised to find that in one of my photos there was an UFO. So I, I sent the photo to my friends and she reacted the same way I did. Alright, then what do you think about the object in your photo? Do you think it's a UFO or the other things? I don't think it's an UFO. Uh, maybe it's... Maybe that's balloons or drone or something else. All right, then Shiva. After experiencing this, what did you? What is your opinion about uh, the existence of UFO? Do you believe it? Okay, my opinion about UFO. Um, actually, I don't believe in extraterrestrial. I believe more in supernatural beings. But I, after experiencing this. I have considered it. Alright then Shifa, thank you so much for your time. Yes, you're welcome. It turned out even the owner of the photo also not sure about the identity of the object that captured in her photo because she didn't see it in plain sight. And unfortunately, none of the other people that came to the park at that time seen the same object that captured in Shifa's photo. However, was right or not, this incident became an unforgettable experience for Shifa and her friend. Alia Fifa reporting from Banjarmasin.